don't complain. Don't complain. Don't complain. Don't complain, my friend. For complainers are struggling daily to see the hand of God. Complainers are delaying what God is doing over their lives. Because the more you complain, the less you see. The more you complain, the less you experience the hand of God because you are holding back your own self and encounters and experiences with him in your place of murmuring. Instead, give thanks. Instead, give thanks. Instead, give thanks. Whatever you face today, do not complain. Turn the complaining into thanksgiving. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And this is what he's going to do to you. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, says Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Don't complain so that the Lord can guard your heart and your mind. Don't complain. Put in thanksgiving. Put in prayer. I charge you today. Let this be a day of thanksgiving and not murmuring. Don't complain. Don't complain. My friend, sometimes the first thing you want to do is to complain because that's all the flesh wants to do. You don't have to give in to the flesh today. You know that God has been good. God has been faithful and you can't say you believe him and you're complaining. You can't have faith and complain at the same time. My friend, one is going to hinder the other. One is going to step over the other. One is going to slow up. One is going to throw off the other. You have to be able to have faith and trust God. Come on. It's a day of thanksgiving. Today, start giving thanks and stop complaining. Do not complain today. I charge you to leave complaining and start giving thanks and see the difference it will make in your day, in your life. Start uh, giving thanks. Don't complain. Don't complain. In fact, the scripture says to do everything without complaining and arguing. Why? So that you, no one can criticize you, believer. No one can talk about you. Live clean, innocent lives as children of God, shining bright lights in a world that is crooked and has a, a perverse people. Hold firmly to the word of life. Then on the day of Christ's return, he says, I will be proud. In fact, you will be proud that you did not run the race in vain. And your work was not useless. Philippians 2, 14 to 16. Ensure that you start giving thanks. Be more focused on giving thanks than on complaining. The moment you feel the need to complain, just shift your focus and start giving thanks. And you're going to see the difference it makes because complainers are missing the hand of God. Complainers are veiled and they're not able to see what God is doing. The more you complain, the less you see. The more you complain, the more delay you see. My friend, I charge you today, do not complain. If you're trusting God, don't complain. Leave that complaining alone. The murmuring and trust God to do that which he promised you. Complainers are struggling in faith. Complainers are struggling to see what God is truly up to and what God is truly doing. Understanding will come, wisdom will come, the less you complain. The less you complain, the more clarity will come. Live a life of thanksgiving unto God. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Come on. God, I thank you should be the words coming out of your mouth today. God, I thank you. Do not complain. No matter what, do not complain for it will not allow you to see the hand of God operating in and through your life. Do not complain. It not fit you. Do not complain. Do not complain. 
Do not complain. God has been good.